Okay, recently I've been going through a lot of changes. Now, I know not only wig changes, the new wig, not only that, but changes as in personality and, and, and the, the, the feelings that I'm starting to have. Well, I'm actually starting to have some feelings for somebody, and it's a man. And it's not like the, the curiosity kind of feelings, you know, like, gee, I wonder how it feels, and gee, I wonder how it would be like. It's no, it's just like, you know, it's like, oh gosh, I like him. And it's the same guy that's been driving me nuts for the past few um, months. We have been together only once, and that was in February. And although quite awkward as it was, it was still kind of great, you know, it's a good feeling. He's a really nice guy. He's just a little bit misunderstood. He got issues. He drive me crazy. But there's my boyfriend. But when I talk to him, my heart beats fast. I want to be with him. I have feelings for him. And it's kind of weird, but it's kind of natural at the same time because I never ever had feelings like this intense. The feelings that I have are more intense in that way that um, I feel for um, anything. And my body. I remember Sunday when I dressed, um, I think it was Easter, it was Easter, and um, well, I was shaking all of my body, it's like a, something was going through me, and the desire and love, and it, and it hasn't it hasn't left me, it's still, in my, it's still in my heart, so every time I see him, or every time I talk to him, my heart, you know, it feels funny, so either it's infatuation, or something, I really like him, where that pizza I ate a week ago that's coming back to haunt me every single day for the past 13 days. Oh God, help me, pizza, bad pizza. It's like my life is changing, my psyche is changing more and more as a woman. The only thing that is hindering it, I think, is my situation, my issue. But I think um, that I am slowly changing into a woman. I mean, I, I start, I'm starting to think as a woman, I'm starting to do things as a woman. And it's starting to come, you know, more natural to me. I mean, the walk and the voice, okay, the voice I gotta really work with, I know. But as far as, you know, confidence, I still gotta get my confidence back because of what happened a few weeks ago. I haven't gotten it back yet. But, I already discussed that last episode. But, um, I think that I need to get my confidence back. I need to, I need to pursue a lot of things, although sex is not one of the biggest things, but actually at this point, I mean, after 14 months, since I gotta get something, you know, I'm sorry, uh, throw me a bone, throw me something, but, um, I think, as so far as sex-wise, I don't think I'm ready, as far as sex with a man, I think I'm ready, but I'm not, I think I got a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to know, a lot of things to think about, and it's not only the moral issue, the moral implications of what I'm doing, which is cheating, lying, being adulterous, which is not good, in either, in any kind of way. But at the same time, I'm not being, I'm opening my mind, I'm opening my soul, I'm opening my heart. Um, I guess I care for someone now. It's another guy that cares, it's two guys that really care for me. And I'm really, really hooked into that situation and feeling. But it's like, okay, but I can love you, but it's just for a while. You know, you can like a mistress. And basically, I'm being a mistress. I wouldn't say hoe because a hoe gets fucked. I haven't got fucked yet, so I'm not a hoe. I'm just like a mistress or something. Um, yeah, but, you know, but anyway, um, 